Okay, so basically, yesterday it came out that TikTok has created a new live streaming software that's just for TikTok called TikTok Live. And now it's coming out that basically it is a fork of OBS, which is open source software. So you're allowed to take it and repurpose it for other things. That's totally fine. So basically, you know, this person looked into the files of the installer and, you know, just cited a few examples of this TikTok live thing is OBS. So you're thinking, okay, well, this is open source. That's totally fine. Like you can do that. But the thing is you have to be GPL compliant uh, with open source software. Open source doesn't just mean, oh yeah, well, I, I can just take it and do whatever I want with it. Like there are restrictions. There are things that you must do to remain compliant. One of those things is making sure that what if you take it, that you remain open source as well, that what you do is also open source. I don't know if that's a widespread thing, but this is definitely particular to OBS. Someone who works at OBS has been replying to these, this tweet because a lot of people are like, well, it's open source. You can just, yeah, it's fine. It's not stolen. You can't steal it. Um, but it actually is illegal to use open source software in a way that is not allowed by the, the company or the people that are putting out the open source software. You are in violation of the GPL license. So here's a little screenshot of uh, someone who says they're required to do so based on the OBS license, which is GNU GPL version two. OBS in theory could take them to court if they don't provide all the source code freely available online with the same license. Now, Ben Torrell works for OBS and he says, this is the correct answer. That said, we have a commitment to dealing with GPL violations in good faith. And in the case of TikTok slash ByteDance, we would be happy to have a friendly working relationship with them as long as they comply with the license. Obviously, like OBS is not out there to put down any other company that tries to use OBS in some way. That is the reason why they made it open source so other people could use it. Um, they're very open to working with TikTok and ByteDance. Ben also put out a tweet to clarify how OBS works and says, companies are allowed to use code from OBS in their apps and even release complete forks of OBS as long as they ab abide by the terms of the GPL and don't use OBS trademarks without a license. In this case, it's a GPL violation because they don't offer source code. Now, TikTok Live is a very new thing. Um, it's not even accessible to everyone. It's accessible to a very small pool of people right now. So this is something that could probably, that will likely change. Obviously, if they're in violation of the GPL, they're going to have to change it. Um, but I'm sure this is something that they will fix hopefully soon. But it was definitely a good catch by uh, this user, Hunter AP, to you know catch that this is actually an OBS fork. But again, just because something is open source doesn't mean you can just purely use it however you like. There are restrictions. So that was like the fastest news uh, breakdown I've, I think I've ever done. <laughs> open source has ter terms, yes. Most open source software has some terms. Like let's say someone takes something that's open source and then basically just monetizes it as an exact copy, right? And they have more marketing so they can do that, right? Like there's usually some sort of protections to keep the spirit of open source. I think that's like a term that's used a lot, the spirit of an open source code to help with protections. Also, what if you took this and you trademarked it and then you took down the open source thing, right? Like there has to be a license. It's the same with music, guys. It's the same thing with music. Just because music is, you know, it says it's like you can use it. What, what's the term? Copyright free. The same thing goes for copyright free music, fair use music. OK, just because something is free to use doesn't mean you can just use it however you want. Usually there are separate licenses. So if you're using it for personal use, usually that's fine. But if you're using it for commercial use, like you're operating a radio station or a stream or you're making money with the music, you know, that comes with different restrictions. Sometimes those restrictions are simply providing a link to the music, sourcing the music, um, you know, giving it some sort of public acknowledgement. Like there are rules to everything. Like there's just, <laughs> it's not just, it's not just free. So do your due diligence, do some research. Um, and you know, same thing with music.